Ben, say hi. Hi. It's the boob now. It's awesome. So beautiful. This is the Oregon coast, and we're at Cannon Beach. Where a river meets the ocean. Where the river meets the ocean. Somewhat. Oh, that's a river for real? Yeah. Oh. We're on, where are we at, babe? We are in Ecola Park. Ecola Park. Not Ebola. Not Ebola. We actually just got done scaling a freaking cliff. We repelled down a muddy cliff and somehow managed not to get too dirty. And we climbed up the face of the cliff. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna actually take you to one of the views of the ocean. Let's see. And the sheer steepness of these cliffs. <sighs> Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that awesome, guys? It's not easy. No, it's not. <laughs> and we're pretty fit. It's scary. <laughs> not going. Oof, there's so many roots that are kind of helpful. Crazy stuff. But we'll make it. Oh, we also got warned that there's cougars out here. Oh, yeah. Avoid the cougars. Always. Not the old women cougars, the animal cougars. Well, if you're a young hot man, avoid those two. Yeah. Unless you like them. How big that tree is. Which tree? That tree. That tree? Yeah. Woof. Okay, so we found a giant tree and we're gonna attempt to go inside of it. Oy. This is quite muddy because it's always wet here in Oregon. So we're gonna I gotta make company to the scorpions and centipedes and snakes. Wow. I'm inside of a tree. Oh that was fun. The big tree. Look at that. A big tree. To show you guys how amazing this view is. By far the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And actually, Besides my boyfriend, because he's pretty beautiful. Love you, babe. We actually came from the other side of that rock. So we've been yeah, we scaled down that and we went to that beach. The beach with all the little mountains. Down there. So now we're on this side of the cliff. And we're, and we're trying to get down to that beach down there. We'll see if we get there. So we had to scale down another mountain. And I got my feet all ready. I saved myself. Just to come to this beach. So. <laughs> beach number two. Risk my life a second time. Let me get this video view. Well, it's beautiful. It's worth it. What are those vine things? Hey everybody! Hi! So today we decided to come up to Mount Hood. To go hiking. To go hiking, but everything's frozen. It's like a winter wonderland. So, let's so see the snow. Pretty sunny up here. And nice. And it's kind of hot in the sun. The sun's really hot. Yeah, it's really strange because everything's frozen, but the sun's really hot. But it's really cool. There's like a ski resort up here. And um, you can go skiing. Right now the ski lift is off because um, there's another one back here and they have that one on going up the mountain. We're not going to go skiing today or snowboarding because we didn't bring any gear. We wanted to but they don't actually rent the, the full gear, they just rent the snowboards. And the boots. But we got to do a little snowball fights and I kicked his ass. No, I kicked his. Don't even think about it. <laughs> I can see your intentions before they come out of your brain. So yeah, we're in Mount Hood.
We're heading to Mutnam Mutnam Falls or something like that. Yeah. Right? Next, we're going to Mahanam Falls. It's a waterfall and trail that we can hike on where there's no snow. But it's freaking hot up here. It feels like Florida sun with ice. Really weird, but cool. <laughs> way up there and we're gonna go try and hike it now we're gonna go up there all the Hopefully way to the top all the way up there. so let's do it all right so here we are we can see the the waterfall there's a bridge halfway up Not even we're halfway. gonna go to the top up there all the way up yeah and, and we're gonna start now yep See that guys we're gonna be going one mile up to the top of the falls so we might die but if we make it we'll record video kind of splashed in this. Really cool. Guys, back here you can see the Columbia River, which separates Oregon from Washington. So we've made it to Switch back this, two of 11. Yeah, switch back number two of 11 to get to the waterfall. And it's a pretty far hike up. And don't let this little paved path fool you because it is no it's joke. It's tough, yeah. <laughs> Very hard. So guys, here's like a better view of Columbia River and Washington. We're only, we're only halfway of the fifth, what is it called? Switch, switch back. back, which is like path side the mountain out of 11. So we're halfway there and we're halfway dead. <laughs> but yeah, we're making it up. <coughs> and we're not allowed to take these little cut throughs apparently. Who the hell would want to walk up that? Thing? I don't know. Look you at that, that tree. It's insane. But yeah, look at this tree. But yeah, this is the path we're taking. That's okay, guys, so we finally okay. made it up to the waterfall. The waterfall there. Really nice. Okay, so now we have to hike the rest of the mountain, but that's pretty much it for the waterfall hike. We'll see you guys later. Bye! We're being dangerous. We 
have by far gotten to the best part. Look at this waterfall. Isn't that awesome? It's like a series of waterfalls. We had to like climb over all that wool and rocks just to get here. Holy shit. Can you imagine being under that water? Woo! Awesome. We are in Portland's Hello. Can you say this is the Chinatown? Ish? Chinatown ish? I don't know. Portland? We're just walking around the city. Danger, dangerous. Looking for a bridge, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get to the big, br the bridge where the main Portland, Oregon sign is. So, yeah. Now we're walking through the park. This is like a park on the side of the river and we're going up to the steel bridge. Oh, yeah. she, I'm so nice There's a lot of people on the bridge. Oh, they're doing wedding photography. Yes. Oh, nice. I guess someone's getting married. Under the cherry blossoms. Under the cherry blossoms. So now we're walking up to the steel bridge, which is that one there. Yes, Portland has beautiful sunny days, by the way. It's not all rain. Yeah, today's a sunnier day. I'm actually getting sunburned here today. So, we've made it to the top of the bridge. And you can see the train passing behind us. down there. There's another angle of the city. You can see So today um, we decided to come out to Bagby Hot Springs to check out the hot springs. So um, it's a mile and a half hike to the springs and we're at the beginning of it so we're going to just take you through how to get there. Okay.
coming up on a bridge now. I think we're close to the springs. So hopefully we'll get there soon. Here we're gonna cross this bridge here. So guys, we made it to the hot springs. <laughs> and it's pretty funny. Um, basically you just pick a little room like this, whichever one's available, and you fill your log up with water, which is this. And then you get in it, I guess. It's a log. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the baggy hot springs. Not what I thought. But cool, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna make it in the way. <laughs> indeed different. <laughs> now we're done with the hot springs and we have to hike back so then we can finish our day in Portland and we return to Orlando tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this experience as much as us. We highly recommend it and yeah see you later. So guys that was that was an experience. Um, if you look behind me those are private down there and when you're in there, they don't really close. Oh well. Right there is where the hot spring comes out of. Oh well. Watch me bust my butt. Don't bust your butt. We are now in beautiful San Francisco. Take my glasses off. After a long 10 hour drive. Yeah, we'll get into that later. But <laughs> we magically appeared in San Francisco. And that's the Golden Gate Bridge. And I just busted my ass walking down here. I think we took a wrong turn in Portland somewhere.